Hi everybody, I'm Catherine with Game Reactor and I am here at the Pre-Jump Festa event hosted by Bandai Namco in Tokyo. I have the great pleasure of standing here with Iwatani-san, the legend behind Pac-Man. So, one of your babies, Pac-Man, is turned 35 years old. He's all grown up. There has been so much happening with the icon Pac-Man throughout the years. Do you think he's still the same? Do you think he still represents the same things as he did when you first created him? There will be actually a major difference from 1980, which was at the time ori the original Pac-Man was created, and nowadays, which is after 35 years. And the one of the major difference when actually Pac-Man first one was created is Pac-Man was only in the arcade around that time and there was actually no home console so if you'd like to play the game you need to go to the arcade that was actually the case for 35 years uh, before and after that there will be actually Super Nintendo there's a PlayStation people have more access to the game nowadays you can actually play Pac-Man everywhere on the smartphone that at home not on the arcade so uh, that was uh, thanks to the, the uh, evolution of the hardware Pac-Man finally can be reached by everyone and I'm also hoping that Pac-Man can be also the, like introductory game after you play the Pac-Man, okay? So I will actually jump into the different games and so uh, that was something I've been, that I've been hoping. So what do you think has been the, the biggest impact that Pac-Man Pac had had on the industry, gaming industry as a whole? Pac-Man. So wow. apparently, as he has already mentioned uh, in the theater, that Pac-Man actually opened up the new target, which is like women, also the kids. Where uh, the, in back in time, the, in the arcade, there's only the man who is actually playing the game, and the also. What would be actually a big impact in the industry is um, this is actually the oh, Pac Man is also the tool to let people know game is actually the fun because I've heard uh, a lot of the story about Pac Man is actually the first game I played, so it's more like you know my first video game uh, for everyone. So, in spite of Pac Man turning 35 years, he still holds a big place in everybody's heart. What do you think makes Pac Man so iconic that even 35 years after he's created, we still talk about him and we still want to play his games? The reason why people are still actually talking about Pac Man is the, the, the biggest reason I believe is because I made a Pac Man uh, which can be played by anyone. I deeply thought, when, when I actually developed the game itself, I deeply thought that uh, how people think about and, uh, and when they actually behave, also, uh, uh, how actually consumers behave and think toward the game. So I try to actually minimize the stress which actually the player might feel when they play the games. I mean, uh, if you are, you know, you can be actually chased by the ghost in a Pac-Man and that might be a big stress for everyone and even you died in the game once, uh, that will automatically actually decrease uh, difficulties, which I didn't really know. And you can always restart with that. And the, this is also very much rooted to the Japanese culture uh, to actually think about how others behave and how others think when you actually create not only the necessarily the game but anything. This is pretty much rooted into the Japanese culture, uh, which is called omotenashi uh, in Japanese, which is like, you know, we love to actually serve to the others. So you actually just announced that Pac-Man will be arriving on the new gen console. So he has been on a bit of a travel in these 35 years. What's it like seeing him arrive on these new gen consoles as well? He was actually super, super happy with this actually news. Uh, you know, the current gen, which is recently developed, and uh, that the game he has created it 35 years before, and we can still actually put those games into current gen, which is super surprising, and also that I'm super happy about this one. So that also means that Pac-Man is becoming more like standard game is it's like you know uh, something like he has actually mentioned the beatles you know pokemon becomes something like a yesterday or you know the those kind of the major songs which everybody knows so i'm really happy about that point. thank you so much for your time and well happy birthday to pac-man thank you very much